Welcome everybody. Today we are gonna go through YouTube comments. There's a few comments that I want to talk about. Some I just wanna elaborate on, and this may help people in the future that are in some shoulder pain, perhaps thinking about shoulder surgery, just maybe just going through physical therapy or just recovering, whatever it may be. Let's look at the comments. Some of them are really good. Some of them are really good. Most of them I've already answered. I've already responded to, but this still may help people in the future. So let's take a look. Roshan Sonar says, can I lift heavy after six months of arthroscopy surgery? Roshan, I've answered to you. Everyone is different. Some people heal before six months. Some people heal after six months. Some people take up to a year. Some people take up to a year and a half. You know, injuries are different. The surgeries are different. People recover at different rates. You know, it, it's, I can't say, and I don't think anyone on the internet can say how long it'll take for anyone to heal because no one really knows unless, you know, your doctor may have the best idea. I don't. Anyone else on the internet telling you they do is a liar. So I would say six months is an average amount of time people need to heal for a shoulder shoulder surgery. However, with that said, again, everybody's different and not everyone is the average person. I'm a person that is not average. I had a really serious injury. My injury is almost eight months, approaching nine months now. I'm still not 100% yet. I'm at still like a 95, 96% with this external rotation. Everything else I am pretty good on. So I hope that helps answer your question. Next question, La C. I'm getting surgery next week on my shoulder too. It just hit me earlier this week that I, I will only have my non-dominant arm to use. I'm still trying to figure out how to get my uniform and how to put my hair up in a bun. I'm already stressing. Lastly, it is very stressful because you're not used to using your left hand or your right hand, whatever hand that you're not dominant with. I completely understand. It is very difficult. The best thing to do is to try and practice it now. Get in the habit of using just one arm. How do you do that? Tie your hand behind your back. Tie your injured arm behind your back and, and get a feel for it. It's best to have people with you the first two weeks, you know, just to help you with your clothes, with your shirt, whatever, maybe your hair. I don't know how you're gonna do it with the hair with one hand. If you have long hair enough, maybe go swing it around and then, you know, use one hand and then, I don't know, you maybe momentum and then grab, I don't know. I don't know, I have short hair, so it wasn't a problem for me, but please let me know how you did it because I don't know how you're gonna do it without help. But good luck on that, Lassie. Next question, Lassie says, thank you. I told my mom I'm going to have to wake her up early to help put my hair up. I feel bad, but I don't have a choice. I tried taking my contacts out with my left hand and I pulled out some eyelashes, okay. <laughs> Oh my God, that's 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 bad, that's bad. I mean, take your time, take your time. Okay, Felicia Smith says, thank you for insight. You're absolutely welcome, Felicia. Ratch or Rachel, maybe Rachel, Rachel Plus, maybe. Hi, I'm five weeks after Operation Supraspinatus. I still have pain in my shoulder at night when I'm sleeping. Is that normal? Did you also have that? So I did not have pain at rest. When my shoulder was resting, most of the time I did not have rest. Was there pain? Yes, there was pain here and there all throughout, you know, six, seven months. Uh, I've talked about it in my vlogs. You see that right here, boom, the playlist. And it happens, it happens, okay? Your shoulder is constantly healing, okay? So your shoulder is slowly shifting around to the correct anatomical position now because your shoulder may have rolled. It may have been here for such a long time, for years. Now starting to get back into the place, um, your muscles, your, your tendons, everything's starting to connect. Your nerves are starting to respond better. So you're going to feel new pain here and there. Once one pain is healed, you're going to feel a different pain. And that pain was probably already there, but you couldn't feel it because you already had some other type of pain that was much more worse. Whatever it may be, you're going to have pain. You're going to go through it. As long as it's not pain to the point you're crying or like something is wrong, you'll be fine, it's completely normal. Again, if it persists, if that pain stays there for more than a couple of days, I would definitely go see your doctor, your surgeon, whatever it may be. But again, pain is normal. Goldilocks SFH8. Wish I had seen this prior to surgery and got in a recliner. I'm eight weeks post-surgery and feeling pretty good. Nice. But for ladies, get two tops or one sleeve shirt and dress from the bottom up. So it's much easier. E e easier. easier. Thanks for the inspiration. Goldilocks, that's a great ass tip. That's a really good tip. I appreciate it. Ladies, you heard her from the source. Get it from the bottom up. Okay. Start. You get a tube top and then wiggle yourself up. It'll be a lot easier. 
Wish they had that for the men out there. Something like that. Somebody make that. Rage Plus says, I'm the third week after operation, but I have pain at night. Is that normal? Pain at night is normal if you don't have a proper sleeping environment. I 100% recommend a recliner. Get one before the surgery or get one after the surgery. Better to get it before the surgery. I'm telling you, recliner will change your life. It'll keep you in a position where your body can't move and shift around, where you can't fall down. If you're using pillows, a lot of pillows behind you to help you recline on your bed, that's a good option too. However, again, a lot of adjustments you have to make. You still have to get in and out of bed. Very difficult to climb into bed sometimes if your bed is really really high sometimes just laying and getting up is very very difficult a recliner will save you all that difficulty by keeping you up keeping you down you don't have to do a damn thing but press the button or pull the lever so i recommend a recliner if you're in pain when you're sleeping it's most likely from the position you're in or you're doing something at night when you're sleeping and you can't really control that sometimes recliner again will help you stay in that position i hope that helps Moving on. Next question, Minor Martinez. Hey there, bro, I'm on week five of recovery. I have a question for you. Did you feel pain at week five? I was good at week four, but I've been having pain for the past three days. I'm still on the sling, one week left on the sling. Similar question from before, you're gonna have pain throughout your, your whole recovery process. Um, I have had pain here and there. Pain at rest is something you shouldn't have commonly. You know, it shouldn't be a common occurrence. You, you will have pain when you're not doing anything with your arm. However, that should not happen all the time. They should go within a day or two. You should not have constant pain at rest. If there is, there's probably something you should talk to your doctor about. But typically, I think for most people, the pain will sort of dissipate very fast, very soon. Most likely was like you bumped your arm, you moved your arm, or you did something while you're sleeping. Recliner, recliner. Michelle Carrillo says, can you make some workout videos and things you learn in physical therapy? Absolutely. I will do that. Absolutely. I need to do that. Absolutely. Absolutely. I need to do that. I need to do that. I will do that. I will definitely do that. I said I'd do that. I'm going to do it. I'll do it. I'll, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Michelle, expect the video soon. I will do that. Chris Medina. At any point during your recovery, specifically after two weeks, did you feel like your shoulder was unstable as before? Shoulder absolutely felt unstable because, you know, I've lived with dislocations all my life. So kind of felt like my shoulder was always unstable uh, and for a long time. I'd be afraid to, I, I would be afraid to throw things sometimes too fast, uh, raise my arm in certain positions. It felt very vulnerable, very, very scary. After the surgery, you know, although everything's inflamed, the doctor, the surgeon has already opened a lot of things up and then eventually it will tighten down. But in the very beginning, it's still very inflamed and things are very loose because he had to move muscles and tendons around and stretch things out to get his tool in there. So yeah, it's gonna feel a little bit unstable. Also, there's a mental part of your brain that's telling you like, wow, you know, it's not that tight. but. You know, it's gonna get tight. It'll eventually get tight. Your mind and your body will eventually meet together one day, okay, throughout this recovery process where the mind will say, okay, I understand that the shoulder is different now. It's built better now. It's the shoulder 2.0. And it won't feel that vulnerability. You won't feel that loose, loosely, looseness, looseness. Um, you won't feel that anymore eventually, but then that'll come from the mind. And when it comes, it's, it's a great feeling. I don't feel like my shoulder is going to dislocate anymore. I do feel very nervous sometimes still though, when my physical therapist puts me in these crazy positions, but it's, it's cause I've never been in these positions in a very long time. Like for 10, maybe I don't know, a couple decade plus, there are some positions I could not do, but you know, he puts me in these positions and you know what? My shoulder is still pretty stable during those positions. So slowly I'm, I'm gaining the trust. My mind is trusting my body eventually and it'll be 100%. John Brown, get in there, bro. Well done. We don't want to hear this as your last video. Keep making more videos. You are a true inspiration. Thanks. Thanks, man. Thanks. John Brown back at it again. God bless mom. God bless all moms. All the moms out there. God bless y'all. Happy Mother's Day to all y'all. Just passed a couple weeks ago. That is going to wrap up our video today, guys. If this video was helpful, please let me know in the comments, like, subscribe, and you can check me out on Twitch. You can come join our Discord, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, whatever you want to do. That's all there. 
and I will see you guys on the next video.